What did you expect? What's up guys, I'm on PS4 and I'm still able to do some pretty crazy things with these augments. There's a bunch more content coming to MK11 and in this video I'm going to quickly go over some of those things and give you guys some tips to this augment system so you guys will be able to clear that content no problem. To start off, there was a 6th character tower on PC. Before I was no longer able to access my account, players noted that there was a 4th level Jinsei augment reward in this stage. I know that there's about 12 Jinsei augments for each character, so it shouldn't be that hard to farm when the time comes around. But in the meantime, you can still get level 3 Jinsei augments on council. I got super lucky and I already got 3 augments for Fujin. The level 3 Jinsei augment I got for Fujin turns his sword damage into magic damage and has a 45% chance to slow the enemy. I also combined that with chaos augments that increase magic damage along with more damage increasing augments and now I just do some really crazy damage. Now I want to go over this elemental buff, it's pretty important for these builds. If you look at the bottom right corner in your moves list menu, you can see what elemental damage the different moves do. And if you combine these elements with augments, simple moves like throws and wake up attacks can really hurt the opponent. I will go over what I thought was the best way to get these augments towards the end of this video, but I quickly want to go over how the augment system works since I made a few mistakes in my last video. Soul Augments, the Skull, those are for farming currency and experience. Flame Augments are damage boosting augments and you should really equip these on your character. Crystal Augments are for players who want to boost their defense and have a defensive playstyle. Chaos Energy Augments deal with the elemental power ups and can really put your damage over the edge. Blood Augments, they do a lot of different things, you definitely can mess around with them to maximize your augment builds, I found myself using them to get through character tower requirements more quickly. All of the augments besides Jinsei augments are shared across your characters and the highest level of each augment is level 4. Now you can get lower level Jinsei augments from the gauntlet, but 20 more levels of the gauntlet have been added to the game files and I can guarantee you we will see higher level Jinsei augment rewards with those. I will also link a reddit post with the names of all the towers if you guys are interested in that. Now I've been able to get level 4 augments after replaying brutal towers a bunch of times, but I don't recommend doing this because it's really grindy. Whenever you do see a random augment reward in a tower, definitely try to get that done. All towers will label the augment reward if they have them. I found the Soul Thrible Key is still the best AI farming method for augments, and it's what I've been doing in the meantime while I edit videos and surf the web. If you have some leftover souls or lockpicks, I would head to the crypt and open up some soul caches because they reward 3 augments every time you open one. There is so much more content coming to the game, characters, cosmetics, game modes, and much more. Right now the community is trying to figure out secrets with the meteor that occasionally appears 10 minutes after the hour, there's words of a secret fighter in the arcade ladder. We'll be sure to cover it and get videos out to you guys as soon as we can get some actual in-game footage. I'm still working on augment build compilation videos. Once PC resolves its server issues, I'll be making a new account. We hope you guys enjoyed this quick rundown of the augment system. We will have our Combat League Season 11 video out with all the rewards and requirements soon. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll catch you in our next video.